How to join the Elite Part 21. And I know I didn't upload a video on Saturday. That's my bad. I should have done that for you guys. I do have a lot in my archives. It's just that there are a lot of things going on in the scenes, behind the scenes, which I'll explain to you guys once it's all set and done with. But how to join the Elite Part 21. How to not have to answer to the community. I've been seeing a lot of these videos, particularly since I've been taking care of my business. And whoever said the Black Manosphere is done for, I'm sorry, you're, you're lying, dude. In the Black Manosphere, you have to give credit where credit is due. I know everyone doesn't like everybody within the sphere, but it is as alive as ever. And I'll just state that it has provided me almost 100% of the entertainment that I have had while taking care of some business. Now, as far as what the Manosphere has been talking about, man, you guys are still circling on the wagon. You guys are still trying to beat down that door. You guys are still trying to negotiate, I see. And what is it that the men in the Manosphere are negotiating or trying to negotiate with? It's with this, you, yeah, you guessed it right, this scraggle daggle. This, you know what, I'm not going to even mention names. And to be honest, it isn't as bad as it once was. There are a couple individuals who are starting to see some of these individuals who are trying to play the good cop role and their cards are being called out because, quite frankly, these girls are nothing more than discount Twitch streamers. As far as the community, I see that a lot of men are not learning from the videos that I and others have uploaded. A lot of these dudes out here, I'm not even call you guys mediocre Negroes because a lot of these guys out here have triple digit IQs. They know better. They want better. But they're afraid to do what it takes to get to that spot where you don't have to answer to the community. Now as far as conquering the community, oh man, that's going to take a lot more work that I'm willing to even address on a YouTube channel. That's going to be Patreon, trust me. If I ever make Patreon videos, yeah, you can expect that subject to be in that venue. But as far as not having to answer the community, the reason why I'm calling this How to Join the Elite is because I notice that these are the videos that get the fewest views but have the most potent advice, advice that could change lives, that advice that has changed my life. But as far as this is concerned, the community, well, we're looking here, looking there, and it seems that a lot of guys are, in a way, getting sick and tired of having to answer to every scraggle daggle, every bone quisha with an attitude, and every mama, shout out to Obsidian, or wannabe mama who wants to practice matriarchy and gynocentrism towards the brothers. And I get it. A lot of you guys are sick and tired of having to answer to the community, particularly the gynocracy of the community, and to an extent, the simps and pookies who are the brains and muscle to this community. Because let's be honest, if it wasn't for the simps and the pookies, the Daggle wouldn't have as much power as she does right now. A lot of people say the government, yeah. But check this out. If the men don't cooperate, then who are these Daggles going to control? Each other? <laughs> In any case, how to not answer to the community? Well, just to cut to the chase, it all leans on one word. And that is leverage. What is leverage exactly? Well, leverage has several definitions, mostly dealing with business or with the physical attribute of levering something. But in this sense, leverage basically means having the tools, internally, externally, and otherwise, needed so that you can have the advantage. That's what leverage is. And in this case, when I speak of that word, I emphasize, and I've emphasized this on all of my videos that I've done, on one thing, and that is leveraging yourself against the community and against anything else that may stand in your way. Whether it's the alt writers, whether it's the feminists, whether it's anything else or anyone else who wishes to deter you, impede you, or prevent you from achieving what you want in life. As far as leverage is concerned, well, what do you mean by leverage? Because give us examples. Well, sure, sure, I will. One of the things that I emphasize is having a clean nose. And I use that metaphorically to state staying out of trouble. 
staying out of any scenarios that could lead you into trouble, or staying out of an image that betrays you as someone who would start trouble. I've referenced this in past videos on how to not be a walking stereotype or be perceived as one. And a lot of these individuals, particularly from the community, I will tell you and others, or tell each other, that, well, the only reason why he's saying this is because he wants to assimilate the white culture, and he wants to be white so bad, or he's a cornball lane and stiff and a stuck up, and a, he's a stiffler, although I bang stiff for his mom, <laughs> get it? Look, as far as this is concerned, when I emphasize staying away from any sort of daggledom, any sort of community or hood swag, if you need examples on how I emphasize to steer away from this hood swag behavior, look at my recent videos such as the swag pass, a message to all the Pookie and Ray Race in the making, and to those who want pieces of the thug and thought culture. Those videos I emphasize on how having this hood swag, while it may help you with the scraggle daggle, will cost you more in the end than what it's worth. And in all of that, I never stated along the lines of assimilating to white culture, especially today's white culture. And if you want to see how I really feel about today's white culture, just look at my recent video, You Are No One's Bailout Plan. This is all about keeping yourself clean to the point in which you don't have any baggage that the community or community can hold you by. Because check this out, a lot of these people that the community praises, notice how a lot of them have a lot of baggage, whether it's with the justice system or just mentally and not wanting to leave the hood or the hood mentality. That's what the community thrives off of. And that's why I emphasize on keeping yourself clean in all sorts of ways, whether through the laws, whether through your image, whether through your linguistic talk, there's a reason why I talk like this, and it's not to impress a bunch of individuals whose culture hasn't been cool since the 90s. But in any case, another way in order to maintain leverage to the point of not having to answer the community. Self-improvement, self-investment. Whether it's going to the gym, which I know that, I mean, that's one thing that you would think that the Daggles would like, but for all of you who have seen my picture, you know that I'm an individual who looks like he goes to the gym at least a few times a week. And even with the body that I have, I'm still not attractive in the eyes of the average basic. You know what? I'll get to reasons why I do that later on in this video. But you also want to get your money right, your mind right, etc. Shout out to Nagon 11. The reason why I emphasize these things is so that you won't have to answer to the community in any sort of way. There are a lot of temptations that will lead you down paths which will have you ending up being in a position where you'll have to answer to the community in one way or another. Whether it's by trying to impress them, whether it's by asking them any sort of support, which trust me, the community, they will hang it over your head in one way or another, or in some cases, through monetary means, usually illicit monetary means when it comes to getting some sort of money. Whether it's through the drug game, whether it's through the adult industry of sorts, etc. This community will use any sort of weakness you have against you to the point in which you'll have to answer to them. Make sure you self-improve to the point in which you are self-sufficient from the community. That alone will help you not have to go down and argue and bicker and rationalize to anyone who is against your personal happiness. Final way in building that leverage is giving yourself options. And when I say options, a lot of you are going to assume options in the dating world. That is one thing. And that's the reason why I work in this body game is to give myself leverage in the dating option, specifically outside of the community. But giving yourself options, no matter how you do it, it is the most important thing you can do in order to not have to answer to the community. I see a lot of individuals here who 
We'll be on panels for 8 to 16 to 32 hours at a time, trying to bicker and argue against the tools of the community, whether it's this Daggle, whether it's the Simps, etc. A lot of these individuals don't realize that, and I, and I respect some of these individuals who do it. God bless them, but we have to be honest. Some of these individuals, whether through choice or through force, or in some cases, they call it choice, but in reality, it's just them having no options. They cannot escape or they are unable to escape the community. And that is beyond the world of dating. That comes to friendships, that comes to families, that comes to whatever. A lot of these individuals are stuck in that mental realm, mainly because they do not give themselves options. And as I stated, options can manifest itself and can mean several things, including options to date outside the community. It doesn't have to necessarily be dating outside your race, but dating outside this community, that is an option that you must have if you are going to stand up to the community to the point of not even having the answer to them. Also, options when it comes to moving and relocating. There are some places in this country that are ran by the community, the daggles, whoever. Do not let these pro wax tell you that there is no place that we can go in order to have our own Wakanda. There are plenty of Wakandas in this society. The problem is the Wakandas in this country are real life idiocracies. That's the main problem. And that is why I always emphasize to move whenever you can. Which, for all of you individuals who can't move, this is why I emphasize the option of getting your education, getting your discipline, getting your trades, getting your skill sets together, or getting something that will be marketable for you in order to go where you want to, or at the very least where you need to, so that you won't have to answer to the community. And alongside that, this is why I emphasize, in many cases, don't succumb to peer pressure. Put your head down. Ignore what the masses say. Remember, masses is spelled with an undercase M and an uppercase A. Yeah, you know the rest. Leverage can be achieved in multiple ways to the point in which even if you can't go back and create regime change in the community, at the very least, you won't have to answer to the community. You won't have to bicker and argue and yell towards those who want to preserve the current state of the community. You won't have to bow down and kiss the ring of one of these daggles who expects every man that is worthy to be a Pookie and Ray Ray imitation or a simp who tricks his money even to the point of him risking his abode and his utilities. That is what the community wants. There is no other option when it comes to this. You have to put in the leverage in order to to basically look at the community in the eyes, give them the highway salute, turn your back, and never have to answer to those elements. This is a quick one. Hope you guys enjoy it. Everyone else out there, always bet on X.